Couple of more close games of the past week for the Wisconsin Badgers. A five-point home court victory last Sunday against Indiana. And then Thursday night in Lincoln, the Badgers once again go into overtime and once again emerge victorious. A 70-69 victory against Nebraska. We'll recap the two games of the past week. We'll also hear about how the players are recognizing Black History Month. And we'll have our weekly sit-down with head coach Greg Gard coming up today on the Badger Sports Report. Going to Pritzel against Jones in the right wing. Brevin gets the half, quick pass Hayes, right of the lane. He's against McRoberts. Hayes back to the basket. Now starts to back, right block, goes up left hand. Yes, it counts. And a foul. Big and one for Nigel Hayes. Now starts to back in on Jawan Morgan out to Pritzel high on the left. Pritzel back into Hayes, left of the lane, works to the block, high pass, pulled down by Pritzel, feeds Showalter, extra pass Candy, three ball right pocket booking. Bronson Koenig, his second hit from the three-point line. 15 to shoot, 55 to 50, Wisconsin. Here's Hayes to the line, in the lane, tough pass to half, out to Showy for three, right corner, he hit it! Showalter from downtown, 58 to 50, Wisconsin with 90 seconds remaining. Showalter into Koenig, again hassled by Webster. Shot clock at 10. Koenig on the dribble, feeds Hayes for three in the lead. He hit it! Nigel Hayes gives the Badgers a one-point lead. 18.4 seconds left in overtime. 70 to 69, Wisconsin. Well, McVeigh has it, nine seconds left. Back out to Webster with seven. Webster off the wing in the lane, up low on the left, blocked by half, and Ethan comes down with it. And he got a timeout with 3.3 seconds left in overtime. The Badgers' defense delivers again. Into the rhythm dribbles, eyes the rim, free throw airborne. It's off the rim, no. Rebound Jacobson with one, poked away, and the Badgers win it. Wisconsin in overtime. Hayes, a three-pointer, half a block, and the Badgers winning streak alive and well, eight games and counting. This is Wisconsin basketball. 10 seconds left in the half. They spread the floor. Kane against Tate. Six seconds. Kane drives the lane. Up and in. Nigel Hayes from distance to the right side. They will return to the final four. They are standing here at the Kohl Center for Badgers head coach Greg Gard. Showwater down the lane. Way up good. The Badger Sports Report is brought to you by the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By hy V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle, hy V proudly supports the Wisconsin Badgers. The 2016 Nissan Altima. IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. With forward emergency braking that could stop for you. Get to your local Nissan store today. Take on sudden stops. Get to Nissan. Proud partner of the Wisconsin Badgers. Go Badgers! Fresh Daily. It's as much about what we do at your neighborhood Quick Trip Fresh Market as what you want to do for your family. So now you can pick up everything on your list. From the fresh milk, bread, and produce you've always known us for, to even more healthy veggies, premium meats, flavorful sides, and you bet, desserts. Right now, Kitchen Cravings Ground Beef, just $1.99 a pound. Premium meats at your neighborhood Quick Trip Fresh Market. See you next time. This is what collaboration looks like. This is what happens when a cardiologist in Appleton works step-in-step -step with specialists at UW Health in Madison. You see, when Terry's condition required a second opinion, his doctor turned to the cardiothoracic team at UW Health. Together, we made sure Terry got the care and the heart transplant he needed. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable.
There for Wisconsin, and a wide pass stolen by Ethan Happ with Newkirk chasing. Happ to the rim, and he hammers it down with the right hand. Half the steal, and half with the punch. That was a good chunk of the season where the Badgers really didn't have very many close games, maybe here and there, but now it's become the norm, like the overtime game of the week on Thursday night against Nebraska. Prior to that, the five-pointer with Indiana. I know we've talked about it a fair amount, but when you have a veteran team, maybe that group knows how to handle it. It was kind of cool to see a Brevin Pritzel, Demetri Trice, and Ethan Happ, redshirt sophomore. Right. They seem like they know how to handle that situation too more often than not. Is that fair? Yeah, I think that's the you know nice part about having older guys, as you mentioned. Not only did they get a chance to having been through a lot of battles like that, but their knowledge and experience gets passed down to those younger guys. And I, I think the other experience we've been able to get through the year, understanding how important every possession is, and then you when you get to those tight games, you're used to being in that moment where there's a premium in every possession, not just when we're in a tight game or it, they're not it's not applied when we're up by a lot of points that uh, they know how we operate every single game and then we're not shifting gears or putting a focus on something that we haven't talked about the entire game when you get this deep into the season you certainly you'll play teams twice and or you have a lot of single play games and, and Nebraska would be one of them but you've known Tim Miles for years he's known you for years there's just very few secrets, if any, so right, everything, get the simple things aren't simple at this stage, right. aren't they? Well, I think that's common in league play. I think yeah. you probably look at any league across the country, scouting, knowledge, experience all come into play. Um, there, we're always trying to counterpunch the other's moves and those type of things, so, um, you know, it's uh, good for our players to go through that. Uh, obviously better when you win those type of games but I think every time you get every time you get that type of experience it forces our guys to grow um, you know and sometimes it's not always a pleasant experience and, and we don't do things always the right way every time but I think also to be able to find a way the fortitude of this group the gut so to speak of this group has really shown now we got to get better at some other areas and um, if we can able to we're able to get better more efficient play a little wiser mm -hmm. uh, combined with how the effort and, and the grit they've developed, then they get a chance to be really good here down the stretch. Every time there's a three-point game in the closing seconds, if it's the broadcasters, the fans, writers, they bring it up, do you foul, do you not? I believe research shows that it's a wash. With you, is it is it situation specific as to what you would do there? It is for the most part. I think where you're at, who's on the floor, those type of things, what the options are, how well you're playing defensively all come into play. Um, the only thing with fouling in that situation, like we saw Thursday night, is you bring losing into the equation if you foul. Otherwise, you know you're, at worst, you're going to overtime. So, um, as you mentioned, this, the analysis that's been done nationwide, it's about 50-50. Um, you're trying to force the worst uh, or non-three-point shooter to take the shot and exchange everything, make it as hard as possible. Um, I thought our guys did a pretty good job of that. We, we got a little late on the last exchange where we chased the ball. Uh, with two guys and allowed that throwback, but you have a guy that shooting 14% take mm -hmm. the shot. And I, I think I'd play those odds uh, <laughs> rather than fouling and then giving a chance for an offensive rebound, a putback, a foul off that, or a kick out for a three. Now again, you bring losing into the equation when you have to make them make a great play at the end, which, hey, give them credit. They did have a tough shot at the end, and, and we countered with a few of our own. Uh, maybe that you would draw up and say, hey, percentages tell you to let this person take it or the type of shot we took. So. That's why you play the game out and uh, try to be as efficient as possible in all those other possessions so you don't come down to that or somebody has to make a great play in order to tie it up. Uh, you, only you would know, you and your colleagues, because you live it be, with, as a coach. You can do everything right, and yet sometimes it still isn't enough. But as a coach, is it easier to live with? And I would speak for you and Tim Miles because Nigel Hayes has not been a great three-point shooter, and he hasn't taken a lot, especially since Maui. But he his three is the difference. So maybe like, okay, we played the percentages here, and it didn't work. So, okay, I don't like it, but you can live with it a little well, bit Well, I think the, you go to what do you do every day? And, and you're in those situations. Again, it, a lot of it's the flow of the game, who's on the floor, um, and, and you really you come down to trusting your defense. And you put that much time into it, and they have that much confidence in it, they're going to make it extremely difficult. And uh, like I said, you, you have to also tip your cap to the player that hits the shot because that's not an easy shot to hit, uh, right. specifically when you haven't taken very many in your career and you haven't made very many. So 
um, that's what makes this game exciting and, and obviously it, it causes for conversation on either side of the coin, whether you do follow or you don't. So in that situation, we chose not to. Um, and made them have to make a great play. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you're 21 and three, and 10 and one in the Big Ten as we speak. So things seem to be working out pretty well. Among the the fun of a season and, and the weekend, the Sunday game with Northwestern, it's Alumni Weekend. You got a lot of guys coming back. I know that's something that you've really embraced. And this was before the interim tag was removed. This is cool because you're going back a, a lot of years in, in some of the cases of these guys coming back to Madison this week. Yeah, right? we really are. They they've been great. Our alumni, our former coaches. I actually talked to John Erickson this week, the former coach, oh, the yeah. oldest coach, I believe, still alive, mm -hmm. um, along with Coach Paulus uh, that are still uh, alive. And obviously talked to Coach Ryan, I talked to Coach Bennett this past week. And I know they all uh, are very appreciative of what uh, we've been able to do. And I obviously extremely appreciative of our former players because we're not here in this position today if it's not for those, their dedication and commitment during their time here. And I'm really looking forward to having those guys back this weekend. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun for fans who are at the game. Those guys will be recognized during halftime. And I said a number of guys from many eras will be back in town. We'll have more on that in later shows. We'll have a chance to catch up with some of those guys. And always look forward to seeing them when they come back for Union Weekend, which is this weekend at the Cole Center. The coach returns in a few minutes with a great day and great question of the week as we continue with the Badger Sports Report. From the moment you see it, it commands your respect. You can feel its immense power. The only way to master it is to venture inside. Go ahead, dive in. The GMC Sierra. We are professional grade. Step up to GMC and get over 10,000 total value on select specially equipped brand new 2017 Sierra Crew Cab SLT vehicles in stock. 28 names for 28 days in February. The Badgers last Sunday unveiled their new warm-ups celebrating Black History Month. Honor, teach, inspire on the front and 28 names on the back. We're going to honor those names on the back and those who aren't on the back uh, try and teach. There are a lot of names on it that people I'm sure won't have heard of before and then inspire to take the story, the legacy, uh, what those people on the shirt have done and then try to inspire you know, further generations to make the world a better place. Each player and coach picked an African American they wanted to honor. 17 players and four coaches gave them 21 names and as the organizer, Nigel Hayes, filled out the honorees by picking the final seven. Among the names, presidents, protesters, statesmen and slaves, athletes, actors, and activists. I made sure I put names on there that, again, not a lot of people would know, and then that's where you start to do your own research, and then, you know, one clue leads to this, and then you started to, you know, further educate yourself on the history and culture. That's always tough when you do a list, because there's always that well, if you could pick one more and add it to there, um, you know, if that was the case, we'd have an endless shirt draping down like a, you know, like one of those uh, formal suits, if you will, with a, with a long flailing at the back with a list of names. But uh, I think we did um, a good job. It's inspiring, uh, and it, it definitely is a good thing to, uh, to, to talk about, you know, even beyond today or this year. I think down the line, people are going to remember this and say, hey, remember when Nigel you know, challenge everyone to come up with a name and let it be dear to, the, to them. And, uh, and it, I think it's gonna be impactful and I think it's gonna really help a lot of people understand what this month is about. The experience last year in wearing the throwback uniforms to honor former coach Bill Cofield, the first African-American head coach in the Big Ten, first for one game and then the entirety of Black History Month served as a springboard to this year's effort. Guys had to do a little research, they had to dig a little bit, and put some thought to it, which is the, the whole purpose of the project. And, uh, and I think it really does, uh, you know, create the right space uh, for what we were trying to do. Uh, it, it, it obviously allowed our guys to think outside the box. It, it allowed guys to say, okay, I learned about Dr. King, but I know there were some other uh, prominent uh, people and, and women, you know, men and women. Uh, in, in U.S. history who have uh, made big impacts and have uh, it affected a lot of lives in a, in a positive way. Honor, teach, inspire. Hayes hopes these 28 names and the thoughts and actions he's inspired with this effort are for much longer than just 28 days. Whether it's giving back, whether it's setting the right example, whether it's being a good person, doing well in school, there are a lot of ways that you can um, 
set an example for, you know, not even just the kids, but peers around and sometimes even adults who become, you know, inspired from the things that they see the, the younger generation is doing. I'm proud of the fact that he is uh, really taking this uh, seriously and um, is making a mark, you know, not just in, you know, Madison and not just at UW, but, you know, throughout the whole, you know, landscape of college basketball, he's really put himself in a very good position and, and it's through leadership. For the Badger Sports Report with Greg Gard, I'm Jay Williams. This is Lexi Rush. She's 10, and she's amazing. You see, Lexi was born deaf and couldn't hear anything. That was until her doctor in Appleton referred her to the pediatric specialist at UW Health in Madison. Now, two operations later, Lexi can hear everything. Powerful minds. Compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. Fresh Daily. It's as much about what we do at your neighborhood Quick Trip Fresh Market as what you want to do for your family. So now you can pick up everything on your list, from the fresh milk, bread, and produce you've always known us for, to even more healthy veggies, premium meats, flavorful sides, and you bet, desserts. Right now, Kitchen Cravings Ground Beef, just $1.99 a pound. Premium meats at your neighborhood Quick Trip Fresh Market. See you next time. The 2016 Nissan Altima. An IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. With forward emergency braking that could stop for you. Get to your local Nissan store today. Take on sudden stops. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Wisconsin Badgers. Go Badgers! Hi, this is Coach Greg Gard, inviting you to join the Badger Basketball Booster Club. As a member of the Booster Club, you will have the opportunity to participate in a variety of great events, including pregame chalk talks, golf outings, and an away game bus trip. The Boosters play a vital role in assisting our staff and student athletes through fundraising and sponsorship. For additional information on joining the club, please call 608-265-6161. There is no better way to show your support than to join the Badger Basketball Boosters. The Badgers wind down every practice with a routine shooting drill that includes jump shots, free throws, and post moves. Almost as routine is redshirt sophomore Ethan Happ staying late to work on those shots by himself. That's what it takes for me. I mean, everyone's got their own thing, and some guys like to improve in games and stuff like that. But for me, I just need to be, I've been the same way since I've been in high school, where I need to be in the gym in order to feel like I'm uh, getting better. I don't know if you guys have got him in the shot, but he's behind me um, working after practice right now. He's definitely worked extremely hard. Uh, him and I have spent many times, you know, in the gym, um, late nights, early mornings, working on our crafts, trying to get better. And he's definitely, you know, doing a good job. He's reaping the, the benefits of playing in a system where we feed the post. He's a great post player. Um, I think he's the best post player in the country. Um, I'll definitely take him over anyone else. Opposing defenses tend to agree, often sending double and even triple teams to try and stop the Badgers' big man. Here's Hayes off the half screen, slips it into Ethan, low on the left, takes it right, way up good, it counts, and a foul. Last year, I, the attention that I got was more towards the end of the season where they started to double a little bit more. This year, it's been, I've definitely been a focal point of defenses, and so it has been, it's been a tough road to continue to have success, but I've got really great teammates that, so they can't just send three guys at me, they, they have to uh, respect other guys on our team, and. That's where I'm blessed to have teammates like that. Like many Wisconsin stars, Hap didn't step into the spotlight overnight. Instead, he's reaping the benefits of the season he spent as a red shirt. Being a person who did red shirt, you know, I, I know how that year really allows you to just figure out your surroundings. And, you know, you get acclimated to everything going on and, you know, you kind of vision yourself in that year of sitting out how you fit in uh, once you're able to compete on a daily basis. He was able to sit back and watch Frank, who wasn't too bad of a player himself. He was, he was decent, I guess we could say he was decent. Um, and he had watched the team that, you know, I was a part of that, you know, people say was one of the best teams in, again, Badger uh, history. 
and to be a part of that team to watch all these veterans in front of him and learn from them who are going to do uh, many great things who have been here. Um, he took all that, sat out that year, worked on this game, got better. The last year got his feet wet and then this year he's definitely blossomed into his own. He's doing a great job for us and um, you know he's definitely being aggressive and asserting himself. The rest of the country is taking notice too. Along with back-to-back -back Big Ten Player of the Week honors, Ethan was recently named to the Wooden and Naismith Award watch lists for College Basketball's Player of the Year. Here's a lob, half slam dunk. Ethan Hap with the throw down. To get notoriety from big names, big reporters, it's cool because, I mean, you see in the gym, I put the time in, and we got a lot of guys to put the time in, and some, some of them don't even get the credit. So it's special for me to get that stuff, but at the same time, that's not what our team's about. Um, we, we play for each other more than anything like that. We like to see guys get acknowledged for, you know, the hard work that they're putting in. Getting, you know, Big Ten Player of the Week mentions are, are pretty good. And to, to get two, you know, early in the season, just the first half of the conference season, uh, shows that you're getting a lot of things done and that we're having success as well. For Ethan, it's all about the team. It's cliche, but obviously winning is the most important thing. And in Nebraska, for instance, I did not play well. I turned the ball over, I think, three times in the game, which is pretty high for what I would like to have. And for us to come out on top, it just makes, winning takes care of a lot of things and it made me feel a lot better. I mean, individual stuff doesn't really matter when you pull out with a win. For the Badger Sports Report, I'm Ashley Hearn. I just picked up the cake for the baby shower. Yay! You know she's having a boy, right? But she's naming her Taylor. She's naming him Taylor. Oh boy. Buick now has an SUV for that. Introducing the new Buick Encore. I knew I could trust you guys with the cake. Oh, no problem. <laughs> that was close. <sighs> One of three luxury SUVs from the new Buick. Get 4,000 below MSRP on select newly redesigned 2017 Buick Encore vehicles in stock. Whether you're out there training for a big event or you're just trying to stay in shape, I have a bit of advice. It's important to remember that what happens after the workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice? Be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. This is Lexi Rush. She's 10, and she's amazing. You see, Lexi was born deaf and couldn't hear anything. That was until her doctor in Appleton referred her to the pediatric specialist at UW Health in Madison. Now, two operations later, Lexi can hear everything. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. The 2016 Nissan Altima. An IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. With forward emergency braking that could stop for you. Get to your local Nissan store today. Take on sudden stops. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Wisconsin Badgers. Go Badgers! The Badger Sports Report is brought to you by the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By UW Health, UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. Time for the great day and great question of the week. And Jim from Glenwood City checks in, wants to know, Coach, how do you determine nutrition for your players? How's that routine work before and after games? Glenwood City, bad memories. High school senior knocked us out of the state tournament. Craig Jillick, still the Hilltoppers. <laughs> Not that I remember what happened <laughs> in 1989. Still a little bitter about Two that. Two <laughs> with no time on the clock in the field house. But anyway, uh. Jim, thanks for your question. Uh, nutrition uh, is handled in large part by our strength and conditioning coach, Eric Helen. Um, very much a protein-oriented diet. Uh, a lot of fatty foods are out of it. 
there's you know, we don't have ice cream on the training table very <laughs> few cookies uh, those type of things and, and obviously each individual has their own specific watch list of what you can eat maybe what you can't have as much of including me um, <laughs> but uh, our, our strength coach along with our trainer Henry uh, do a terrific job and we have a nutrition staff here on mm -hmm. campus as well that helps us in the department so it's it's uh, watched on every meal uh, there's no uh, we don't have post game meals at uh, fast food restaurants right. um, we really try to be very cognizant and aware of what these guys are eating and, and our players do a really good job of being aware of what's best for them and taking care of their bodies and I think it's helped us obviously uh, no, no doubt you know it really uh, makes an impact in terms of their performance yeah hydration really important too right and uh, bef several days before absolutely game too, right specifically when yeah. you're flying and, yeah. and spending time in hotels all right Jim thanks a lot for your question uh, again coach really bitter about where you're from <laughs> still a great day with the location up in Wausau for the Madison area east side of town downtown Pittsburgh and Hilldale great day in Hilldale of course the side of Coach Guard's radio show Monday nights at 7 o'clock from now for the end of the Big Ten regular season. Badgers hosting Northwestern on Sunday afternoon at 5.30 at the Kohl Center. Then it's back on the road. It's a Thursday-Sunday routine now for the rest of the conference season. Thursday night, they'll be in Ann Arbor to take on Michigan. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. some, a shiver, felt by many, until it amplifies, magnifies into a tremor that electrifies, badgers everywhere, moving as one, tilting the world on its axis. From the moment you see it, it commands your respect. You can feel its immense power. The only way to master it is to venture inside. Go ahead, dive in. The GMC Sierra. We are professional grade. Step up to GMC and get over 10,000 total value on select specially equipped brand new 2017 Sierra Crew Cab SLT vehicles in stock.